be in the middle of your Lord of the Rings audition and then you hear Pearl Jam for the first time? He's all grows up, boys. What's up, boys, and welcome to a very special Iceland OP squad builder episode. Yeah, now today being Monday is sometimes a tough start of the week. It's Monday, you got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday before the weekend hits. So hopefully you guys are having a good Monday. Weekend was pretty, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, for the first weekend league of FIFA, it was a fairly leisurely experience. I don't know about you guys, for those of you guys that did manage to play all 30, or if you did play weekend league, I know that the actual matches can be sweaty, but how did you feel about 30 weekend league matches compared to 40? For me, it was a huge difference. I banged most of them out on Friday, played the rest on Saturday, Saturday and then left one for Sunday and like really felt pretty chilled outside of outside of hitting 16 wins We got 16 and 14 so good for goal three in our first ever weekend league I felt pretty good after it. So that is gonna be the question of the epi uh, kicking off this Monday Let me know how you guys felt also another question of the epi given that we are doing an Iceland squad builder with the likes of Yofi Sigurdsson and Alfred Fred Bogason. Is there any player in the Premier League that's more important to their club than Yofi Sigurdsson is to Everton? I believe currently 11th place as a matter of fact, no I think they're, no, they're either 8th or 11th on the table, but I can't think of a player, um, I'm trying to think of a couple off the top of my head that's more important to their club than Guilty Sigurdsson is to Everton. So, uh, he got himself an informed two Icelandic players, I don't think we're ever gonna see that again, two Icelandic players in the team of the season at the same time, team of the week three, uh, sorry, not team of the season, team of the week number three, 30,000 coins for Guilty uh, Sigurdsson, got it for, I believe, two goals, in a, uh, he got it for two goals in a match versus Fulham, and then Finn Bogason got it in a hat trick uh, for a 4 1 victory in his first start for Augsburg. So, four star weak foot, three star skill moves. We're looking at his card 86 shot power, 90 long shots. He's always been known for having a really nice card from a shooting perspective, nice 86 composure. Uh, the dribbling this year, I feel like, is probably a really important stat. Might let him down a little bit with 82, but he's got 87 stamina, so he's running. He legitimately is an engine, which is the chemistry style that we have applied to him. Uh, just a really awesome looking card and obviously a channel legend. Now, for an 81 rated striker, Alfred from Bogason has possibly the two craziest stats for an 81 rated striker. The combination of 89 finishing that goes up to 80, that goes up to 93 with the Hunter Kemp style, and then 89 composure. You don't often find a striker 81 rated with 89 composure. So we've got him in there uh, with the Hunter chemistry style that goes up to, I believe, 79 pace. We've got a Borussia Dortmund build out on the left with Marco Reus, who is one of his way to glory heroes. Uh, that was a big reason we got goal three this weekend league. Uh, and then on the right side, we built out a little bit of Icelandic love in the form of. Um, in the form of Gudmundsson, who has a plus three upgrade from FIFA 18, now has four star, I believe he had four star, four star last year, but he does have a whopping plus three upgrade and some really, really nice stats to boot. We've got uh, we've got Aaron Gunnarsson, the hero of Euro 2016. You guys will remember him. And then on, on the bench, we've got probably the most handsome man in all of FIFA. I'm your passion, man. Beaker freaking Bjarnason. Uh, and then we've got just a pretty standard outside of De Gea. Not a lot of people, I mean, not everyone can afford him, but uh, uh, Bai and Otamendi and then Serge Aria. You're going to find a lot of people running that particular squad. But we've got this formation. We're going to apply the uh, squad training, but we've got the 4-3-3 set up. However, some of you guys have been asking me about my custom tactics, and I'll show you guys that in just a second here. Now, before we go any further, if you guys are enjoying the videos, if you guys are loving that Iceland have two players in the team of the week, and if you guys want to see another Epi of Way to Glory, very very soon smash that like button if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below so uh, what we're gonna do is you guys have been asking like I said to see my custom tactics now what I do is I usually start out with a formation and most of the time I use that formation that I start out with but we're not gonna use the 4-3-3 we are gonna edit the game plan and we're gonna switch over to a formation that people have been saying is really really nice and that's the 4-2-2 with these uh, with these particular stats we've got it quite wide as a matter of fact maybe we'll we'll narrow it just a little bit um, and then defensive width we're gonna keep that and then that's pretty much it so we're gonna switch to attack in game which basically is going to uh, is gonna is gonna reshuffle this entire squad around uh, Finn uh, sorry uh, Finn Bogason is be gonna be our right striker uh, Berg is gonna be our left striker we're gonna have Royce as our uh, technique our left cam and then 
uh, Guilty Sigurdsson is going to be our right cam. So we're going to get into a couple Div Rivals matches. We're going to see if we can boost the account. This is the main. Again, this is not the Road to Glory account. We're going to see if we can get some, uh, we're going to see if we can get some nice wins here on this one so we can have some nice Foot Rivals rewards as well. But Zway to Glory, I think we're currently still about 3,000, 3,000 points clear of rank one. So looking really, really nice for some Div uh, Division 4 rank one rewards this Thursday, which I'm really excited for. Switch the kit. I know you want to wear your later hosen, bro, but yes, thank you. Thank you very much, bro. So we've got ourselves Otamendi, who looks like he could be a FIFA Viking himself. He has the uh, he has the facial hair for it. A 183 rated squad with Zaha. He's got Asensio. Uh, he's got Tony Cruz, the UCL version. He's got himself Gundogan, Fernandinho, and then he's got that player of the month, Lucas. I, every squad that I'm coming up against has that, and it makes sense. He's one of the, one of the first, obviously, special items that you can get. Uh, and he wasn't too expensive to do. So we've got the Iceland kit. We're getting into match number one here. Again, we're gonna switch to attack, which is gonna get which is gonna shift us into the four triple two. And we're gonna see how that stacks up. Look at these people! They no longer support me. Look. I'm, did, is Iceland rap any good? Uh, we got a patch coming out here in the next couple days. I don't know how I feel about heading. Um, wait, how do you do that celebration? Wait for it. Referee! Come on. All right, Sigurdsson, he's got good free kicks. composure and the 89 finishing yo let's go boys heck yeah what a nice little fit uh eric by horrible clearance eric by with the send in he doesn't want to watch the replay alfred finn bogason dude you want to know what his 81 that 81 rated card that's what his regular card should be dude he's such a freaking beast a three goal thriller already uh Yilfi knows that he needs okay so I, okay, so this is something that needs to be patched in the, uh, this needs to be, this needs to be patched. It shows the wrong player pretty much every time going in a half. It shows a stat of a player, and then the player walking is not that guy at all. Um, I'm trying to think. I haven't read the patch notes yet, but I really, really hope keepers are fixed because I've seen some ridiculous instances, and you guys have seen it on Zueda Glory and on the live stream, where, like, a ball will be coming in, and the keeper should be very easily be able to get to it and knock it away, or even grab it. Grab the nuts. Uh, but... For whatever reason they don't it's like they it's like they glitch out it's like the whole remember like the ball is lava remember the the floor is lava thing it's like the ball is lava dude look at these people they no longer support me oh, what's the big game <laughs> come on boys never say that iceland doesn't have any pace and i think we've forgotten how to do the dead fish 79 good months in. dude alfred uh wait i don't wait what's his first name is it alfred good months in? I mean, the guy was going to close in, but a very, very solid finish. And Croquetas looks like we're probably getting a rage quit in the 48th minute. Stoke City, is he getting out of here? No, we're doing it We're doing it at a cold. It's not a wet night, but my, it's definitely a cold night at Stoke. We're doing it, bros. Iceland was built for Stoke. Go. Ah. Whoa. Dude, that goal that goal from Rodrigo, I dude, I thought that was I thought that was wide. What a strike. Croquetti. 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 Did that really just go in? That really just went in, huh? Okay. Oh my god. 
Oh my god! Gunmanson! That was it! That was the game winner! You're Iceland! You're from Iceland! You're supposed to have ice in your veins, dude! That's supposed to be- you're supposed- that's- that's your bread and butter! That's what you were designed to do! Come on, guys! Iceland, dude! What is going on? Stop waving that flag! What, what flag actually is that? Oh my dear lord, you gotta be kidding me. You have to be kidding me, bro. 3-3, 589 coins, 18 shots, 12 on target for him. Uh, let's take a look at the Finn Boggesen goal. The Finn Boggesen goal is actually sick. That's actually nasty. That was pretty nasty. Not a great start from the boys. Uh, looks like Finn Boggesen got himself man of the match. I believe every time it freezes right there, um, it gives you a plus two skill rating. Oh, we've got Aaron Gunnarsson in our squad, and they're going to give us a plus. They're only going to give us plus two. Can we go all the way through? Nope. We end up in a rank four. Coming up against a 188 rated Serie A side. Uh, he's got himself a Benatia that we've got on his way to glory. First owner, uh, Medi, uh, Medi Benatia. Untradeable. I think we got him from the rank one rivals rewards. Pjanic, Mertens, and then you want to know one interesting thing. For those of you guys that run Serie A squads, here's a question I have for you. Papu Gomez has 76 finishing. Do you guys find that that's an issue with this card? I know he's got 4-star, four 4-star. Four Every other stat is pretty much incredible. But the 76 finishing kind of freaks me out. He's a monster. Wow, that Dries Mertens card looks like he is an absolute monster. Dude, he's the Belgian Messi. He is the Belgian Messi. Do we have a shot on target? Zero shots on target. This guy's squad is crazy. We might be taking a serious L in this one, boys. We might be taking a serious, serious L in this one. Legitimately nothing I can say to that. This is Kitzel! Come on, Mrs. Kitzel! If we can if we can at least draw this one, I'll be happy. If we can draw this match, I will actually die a happy man. That goal that he scored with Nangolan. What the hell did I just see? Oh, what an emotional F! Finn Bogason and Goodmanson lighted up in the first match, and then, of all people, UCL Mises Keatsell steps up to the challenge and makes some really, really nice runs. 4 3 3. I wonder if maybe that's a shout. We get a draw in the first match and we get a loss in the second. It should have been two draws, but my god. Switching over to the 4-3-3, Mises Kitzel, I don't know what it is about that LCM position, but the runs that he was making from there were absolutely incredible. So, uh, Royce, Royce, Finn Bogusin, and Goodmanson don't even get on the board in match number two. We get ourselves a crushing 3-2 loss. This guy was destroying me in the first half and then a simple position a simple formation change to the 4-3-3 which we started the match with um and then uh, the, the moment we did that everything seemed to work out perfectly but uh only have time for two matches today three two loss and a draw so no win in today's epi um but the icelandic boys you know what they put in a valiant effort we were playing with the silver in division four sorry in division five we get ourselves 330 points so a little bit closer to rank three but the Icelandic boys, you know, they represented themselves well. Finbogason was very nice. Uh, I think more than anyone, though, this this Gudmundsson, it's always the guy that you don't expect. Two goals in two matches, and then Finbogason, four goal contributions in three matches played. Got himself a cheeky two assist. And then uh, Gilby Sigurdsson, I think it's probably where we were playing him. That was probably the wrong formation. Zero goals and zero assist for Gilby. It was only two matches. I feel like if we were able to figure out where to play him, uh, he would be a little bit better. But that is going to do it for the Iceland OP. 
two Icelandic players in the team of the week and very good leagues at that, Premier League and Bundesliga. So if you guys do try out these cards, let me know in the comment section below. Again, Finn Bogason, the hidden stat right there, 89 composure, 89 finishing, definitely felt it on the pitch. Uh, really, really nice couple of Icelandic cards as well. Got a shout out to Boyar Marsen, AK still probably listen to that Pearl Jam. But anyway, boys, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the epi. If you did, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. Ade. You want me so